MMA Boxing Talk here. Tyron Woodley gets the TKO finish against Robbie Lawler last night. Um, spectacular, spectacular finish. You know, it's something that I definitely saw as a possibility. You know, Tyron Woodley, one of the most explosive, one of the most powerful fighters on the UFC roster, period. He might be the most explosive. It's debatable. The guy's a freak. He's a beast. I knew, you know, he, he has the ability to knock out anyone. Um, Robbie Lawler, very durable. Um, been through a lot of wars. Tough as nails. I really thought, you know, if the fight went on longer, I thought it, w it would favor Robbie. He, he, he gets stronger in his fights, you know. Um, he, he seems to start slow, finish strong. Um, and, you know, Tyron Woodley, in the past, he, you know, there's been times where he, he would have come out and have a good start, but then he would fade in his fights. Um, so I really thought, you know, Tyron Woodley, if he wanted to win this one, he would have to do it early early on in the first two rounds. Now, I didn't make a prediction video for this one or, or any of the, any on this uh, on the 201 card, but, um, you know, I was very interested in this one. I was pulling for Robbie Lawler for the simple fact, you know, um, it's nice to see a guy like that who is such a fan friendly fighter who gets who's not afraid to go to war um you know you want to see that guy hold the belt as long as possibly can but hats off to Tyron Woodley you know a lot of people a lot of people don't like Tyron Woodley you know um and I can understand maybe because you know did he really deserve this title shot but who gives a fuck if he really deserved it because he knocked out the man um very interesting to see what's going to happen next. You know, of course, if you're talking about who deserves it more um, or who should get the next title shot, I mean, in my opinion, Wonder Boy should get the next title shot. You know, he, he's coming off wins of over Hendricks. Um, and also, and when Hendricks was still considered elite, and also, you know, a solid win over Roy McDonald. But, um, you know, Tyron Woodley, he obviously wants the money fights. And Stephen Wonderboy Thompson doesn't bring in the money like a GSP or like a Nate Diaz would. Um, or a Nick Diaz, I should say. Now, Tyron Woodley, he didn't really get touched in this fight. He's ready to go next month. He wants to fight Nick Diaz at UFC 202 next... Or, it's this month, I think. I don't even know what date it is right now. But, August 20th, you know, it would be both Diaz brothers fighting. Because Nick Diaz, his suspensions... He's eligible to fight after August 1st. So, that's a big money fight and I have no problem with that. You know, if a champion wants a, a quick turnaround fight the next month, how can you hate on that? Um, I think that would be an interesting fight. You know, Nick Diaz versus Tyron Woodley. I really like that fight a lot. Um, he also was considering, you know, GSP in November at MSG. Um, who knows? Who knows? I personally think Woodley would be a bad matchup for uh, George St. Pierre. Um, you know, he's younger, he's well-rounded, he's more explosive, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think at this point, he's more explosive than GSP is right now, you know? Um, and I think that's up for debate, obviously. But let me know what you guys think about that. So, if Wonderboy Thompson, you know, doesn't get the next title shot and, and they do give it to, to Nick Diaz or, or George St. Pierre... What what happens with uh, Wonder Boy Thompson? I would say possibly fight you know one have Wonder Boy fight Robbie Lawler, um, and then the net, the winner of that would get a title shot after, um, or you know Wonder Boy can always fight the winner of Carlos Condit versus Damian Maya, because they're fighting at the end of this month in uh, in Vancouver. It's a five round fight Maya and Condit. The winner you know could fight Wonder Boy. But it's going to be interesting to see what they do because, you know, in my opinion, I truly believe Wonder Boy is, is the best in that division. Um, his movement is creativity, but will they go that route? What, what will happen? I'm not sure. It's very interesting to see. There's going to be a lot of speculation in that division. Um, or will they have, you know, I think I said this, but Wonder Boy fight Robbie Lawler. I think I didn't say that. But uh, it's interesting to see. Can't wait to see what happens. You know, I, I would like to see 
Condit get past Maya and have Condit Wonder Boy. You know, two two strikers who, you know, have a lot of movement in their game, have a lot of creativity in their game. Um, like I said, I, I believe Wonder Boy this is my personal opinion. I think Wonder Boy is the best. Um, and I think the guy that would give him that would pose the, the biggest challenge would be a would be Carlos Condit with his creativity and his movement as well. Different movement, different types of movement, of course, but um, very interesting nevertheless. We're going to see what happens with Tyron Woodley. He wants to jump back in there next month. I, I salute that. You know, I think that's awesome. Um, he wants a big money fight. You know, this was a card where not a very, it was a, wasn't very highly anticipated whatsoever, you know. Um, so he wants to fight a big name, and, and I love Lawler, but he's not a money fight like George St. Pierre or GSP. So it is what it is. Just wanted to throw uh, my thoughts out there on, you know, the win last night, Tyron Woodley defeating Robbie Lawler, and also, you know, the state of that uh, Walter Wade division, the 170-pound division. Very interesting stuff. Um, boy, oh boy, it's not easy to hold on to one of those UFC belts, I'll tell you. And um, it's, that's not going to change anytime soon. So it is what it is. If you like the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk 1. Peace.